Hey everybody and welcome back to a new episode of Dark Knights with Pearl Monroe. I know it's been a while, um, but I got really ill and quite frankly I just couldn't record anything. So this is going to go out on New Year's Day, so Happy New Year guys. And yeah, we're going to continue on with where we left off. We're going to continue on with the daily uploads from the New Year uh, for as, as long as we can. And we're going to be on the grind. I hope you guys are excited. And we're going to continue on here. We've got a lot planned uh, for things that could come and, and games that I want to play. So, this is good. You can probably still tell that I do sound slightly still ill. Um, but yeah, that I've been ill for like a week now. Maybe a bit longer than that. And it literally just took everything out. I think it was COVID, but I'm not 100% sure really. So yeah, the last episode, we had carbon monoxide poisoning, I'm pretty sure, and uh, there were tons of hallucinations, now... Dark Knights. With Pearl and Monroe. We're green with envy, apparently. No, um, I think we are becoming a detective Call in this episode. Is that a bad thing? <clears throat> I changed the number after Frankie. He's the only one that knows it. Frankie's dead. We imagined all that. So we take the call, Maybe. Then? Uh, yes. Who is it? Hello? This he will police. die if you let him. Huh? Frankie? The boy... The order you do things is... important. I I've seen them all. Is this a prank? Right. Frankie's dead. Who is this? Listen, just listen. She will lie to you. She will get away. She will kill the boy. You can't change that. Hmm? What are we supposed to do? I don't have the lines Ooh. between the dots. I just see the final picture. Hmm. I don't like that, Poe. <gasps> Me neither. Well, and here's oh. Yvette on line two. I love your show. Thanks, Yvette. I love your accents. What's your question? <coughs> My question is, yes. do you care about people? What, what, That's a strange what question. What do you mean? It's an AMA, Monroe. Ask me anything literally means ask me anything. Yeah, yeah. I know. But do we care about people? Yes, well, of, of course. course. Speak for yourself, Monroe. I'm an animal lover myself. So you mm. don't care about people? No, I do care about people. Just, just not as much. I care about animals more. Mm. So you care about animals more than people? Present mm -hmm. company excluded, of course. So that's nah. a yes and a no. Wait yeah. one moment of that. So if I was crossing the road at the same time as a cute bunny, and you right. could only swerve and save one of us, you would choose the bunny? Mm. No. I'd save you, obviously. Well, that's reassuring. Nah. I said I'd save you. Yeah, but you pulled. And how long did you have to think about it? I oh, like wow. to consider things. You have mm. a split second. Well, I wasn't timing it. Fine. Save me or a cat. You. You said that quickly to get on my good books, didn't you? No, I'm no. not a big cat fan. Oh! Nah. What? Does that answer it's your true, question, though. Yvette? Not a big cat fan. Yes, I think so. Good. I do have another dilemma. What Maybe we can help, Yvette. I'd rather not say on air. That's all right. Happy to help. <clears throat> it's about time for a short break anyway. Stay on the line, Yvette. We'll be back in five minutes to answer more of your AMA questions. Until then, here's something slightly more interesting instead. Some nice music. We're off. Yvette? I've got a hostage. Huh? A hostage? He's a boy from August I. Why is he a right. hostage, Yvette? I had a crush on him okay but he turned out to be unpleasant what do you mean so you kidnapped him no i drugged his drink so you did kidnap him is he okay Yvette? <clears throat> not really why not he has not woken up yet oh. but now that i've spoken to you i'm probably just going to let him die what i like animals more than people anyway like paul mm -hmm. Yvette, i was joking with monroe 
And thank you for your help. Well, did you get the number? No, it's withheld. We've got to do Maybe something. She was joking. No, we should call the police just in case. Tell them what was said. So. Really? Yes. We should I'm definitely not sure. call the police. We should definitely call the police. I know it's a sensible thing to do. But what if it isn't? How can it what not be? Mean? If it is a prank, we'll be wasting police time. If it isn't, the, the, somebody the will take action. This is the August police we're talking about here. That's two guys in DuPont drinking coffee and watching YouTube. So they're not busy then. So they're exactly. useless. I then the will do. probably be dead by the time DuPont's finished his sandwich. I'm calling the police. <clears throat> Fine. But we still have to do something. Okay. What do you suggest? Detective Poe and Monroe. Yesterday in the August update, you said that Joe Watts had gone missing. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. He'd gone to a friend's house after school and mm -hmm. hadn't come back. Yeah. What are the odds that Yvette has got Joe hostage? Almost as high as Yvette not being her actual name. Yeah. Well, it's definitely I know not. the headmistress from the high school. Maybe we should talk to her. Or maybe the parents. They asked for the story to be run. Mm, the uh, the height no the parents okay let's meet the parents that makes more sense I think it definitely makes more sense <clears throat> dark road mm. you have news about Joe well, is Joe still missing yeah missing well, yes. since yesterday we thought it was a prank, but hmm. we had a caller on the radio, a girl. She said she was holding Joe hostage. Live on the radio? No. no. We were off air. Good. Have you told the police? No. Yes, of course. And what do they say? They're looking into it. Oh, this is bad. Calling the police? Yes, calling the police. Why? I just got a call a few minutes ago. From a woman called Yvette? She asked for money. And she said if I told the police, she'd kill Joe. Well, fuck. Maybe that was a bad idea. I'm so sorry. I had no idea. I did try and stop you. Mr. Watts, is there <clears> anything <throat> we can do? Find him before? Write me a check for £50,000. Well... That's a lot of money. We can't do that. Why did she tell you she'd kidnap Joe? I don't know. Maybe she's a fan of the show. But surely she knows you called the police. Maybe. Then maybe it's a diversion. What for? I don't know. Maybe Yvette's actually Joe's girlfriend. And... Mm. They're pretending he's been kidnapped. So they, could get they money. can elope with the ransom money they've asked for. Seems intricate. I'm just trying to be positive. Well, Perhaps we could ask Mr. Watts some questions. Yeah, that would be helpful. What do you want to know? Can you tell us a bit about Joe? He's good. He is good. What? He did a marathon last month to raise money for Dorothy May. Dorothy May? Right. Yeah, she's um, an 80-year-old with a acoustic neuroma. Okay. He helped her with it. Right. He mows the lawns for the old folks around here for free. Okay, He's so he is... really good. A good person. Any reason someone might want to hurt him? Well, not from what he's saying. I'm thinking about this over and over again, and... No. I just can't think of anyone who would. No. Hmm. What's that? A whistle? Nice whistle. <clears throat> yeah, that's Joe's. He's a runner. I run too. Why has he got a whistle then? Is that him in the photo? Yes. That's when he just passed his driving test. Okay. Has he got a car? No, he prefers cycling. Right. A runner who prefers cycling. Interesting. Well, I guess he is in fitness, so it would make sense. Kind of. Who else are we going to be able to find then? Do you think his dad killed him? You what? think Joe's dead? If Joe is dead, I bet his dad killed him. No, no, no. He's just upset. Why isn't he out looking for Joe himself? Mm. He's probably over the limit. He didn't seem that drunk. Functioning alcoholic. I tried yeah. that on for a while. 
Really? We haven't got time. Come on. Sorry, yes. Uh, what's next? Hmm. I think we should meet the head teacher now. Okay. Where else is there to go? Alright, so the head teacher, who probably won't know much considering she's the head teacher of a school with breaking an lots and lots Did of people. Did we break anything to get this far? No. All the doors were open. Doesn't matter. We could search the whole school. Deserted schools are creepy. Still breaking and entering. Agreed. I also agree. Anything that involves kids is scary. Especially if it's supernatural. But I guess this isn't. How is this getting to the head teacher though? What's that? Hmm. The register is for a Miss Clay. Right. And Joseph Watts is one of her pupils. Okay. Where do you think Miss Clay resides? <clears throat> who knows? Well, yeah, who does know? Maybe she's staying at August Guest House. Sorry, it actually says here, August Guest House, Room 6. Oh. Nah. Well, of course it does. You did very well, my love. Guest House it is, then. Okay. Miss Gallagher owns it, doesn't she? I have no idea who that is. Let me guess it says on the piece of paper. I'm going to talk to Miss Gallagher. You find Miss Clay. Why don't I talk to Miss Gallagher and you find Miss Clay? I don't trust you talking to other redheads. Okay, I don't know who I've just clicked on, but I'm doing something. Miss Gallagher, I'd assume. Hello? It's Alice. Alice Monroe? From the radio? Yes. Yeah, from the radio. What brings you here, Miss Monroe? Well... One of your guests, actually. Well, I'm happy to chat, but you will need to help me strip. Huh? Oh. Okay. Um, let's not lead this into anything that shouldn't be shown on YouTube, please. Pl please. Please. I don't... No? What? What's going on? Oh, God, no. Very lucky. I clicked on the bed as soon as it popped up. What? What's going on? No, strip the bed. We need <coughs> the bed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, that's a how misunderstanding. I'm doing it at home. Fair enough. I mean, it's a lie, but fair enough. I'm assuming this is about Miss Clay. She is my only guest. Oh, yes. Then yes. The school teacher. One of her pupils has gone missing. Mm. Well, being held hostage, actually. Hostage? Yes. We had a caller on the radio. Someone calling themselves Yvette said that they'd taken this boy, Joe Watts, hostage. What? How do you know that she's not Yvette? Oh, yes. The family's been in August for a long time. They manufacture and sell fireworks, of all things. Right. I okay. love fireworks. Ghastly things. All that methyl in our drinking water. Makes what? my thyroid throb just thinking about it. They're fun though, right? If you're an unethical hedonist, hmm. I will Google that when I get home. Nah. Do. I don't like this person. She is the killer. So your guest, Miss Clay. School pays for her. She's very quiet. Okay. Doesn't watch television, which is odd. That is odd. Goes out a lot at night. That's even weirder. Any idea where? No. She usually seems happy when she gets back, though. Hmm. And she smells earthy. Well, that's just even weirder. Earthy? As in muddy? <coughs> Not on my hmm. carpets. And only if she's laundering her sheets before I get to them. Hmm. Earthy, though. What do you yes. mean? Like the smell of fresh rain on grass. Right, you okay. Great sense of smell. Yeah. Well, when you run a guest house, you develop all sorts of senses you didn't know you had. 
Smells hmm. earthy after a long night out. It's a bit weird. It sounds looks very weird, weird, but it could be relevant. Well, Particularly if Joe is yeah. being kept somewhere dirty or muddy. Tied. Yeah, but only. Beaten. That's frightened. Oddly specific. That's specific. Yeah, exactly <laughs> my thought. Too many uh, movies. <laughs> is that all? For now. I guess. Thank you, Miss Gallagher. Not at all. And please do drop by again. You've given Especially a lot of information to this person you don't know who is, who could be the, the person holding someone help, hostage. Please give me a call at the radio station. It is, uh... Surely you want me to call the police if I notice anything? No. No, just me, please. I'd rather you called us first, if that's okay. Do the police know what's going on? They do. Yeah. I just think that we have a better chance of finding Joe than they have. Very mm. well, then. I shall do as I'm told. Thank you. Well, thanks. I know we're going to Although find I'm him. kind of convinced now that you're the murderer. You've taken him. Well, I didn't get much out of Miss Clay. She said Joe was a litter bug. So she's an eco-warrior? Yes. I wish we could have recycled our meeting, actually. No. How was Miss Gallagher? Kind of dominant. I liked her. Maybe of I course. shouldn't let you hang around with <clears throat> other redheads. Maybe you <clears throat> shouldn't. Let's circle back to this later. Did she say anything useful at all about Joe? No, she not said really. Joe's parents sold fireworks. Mm, I suppose that could be useful. Anything else? She said that Miss Clay goes out a lot at night mm -hmm. and comes back smelling of earth. That's odd. It is. Yeah. She has a great sense of smell. But I'm, I'm sure it's sure a clue it's of Sherlockian proportions. We'll probably never no. decipher. Maybe. Seems we're out of leads. I'm still up for visiting the headmistress again. We could drill Miss Gallagher some more. Give oh it God, up, Alice. Don't say it like I'm that. I'm trying. Then All right, let's go denied. to the teacher. Let's see Dallas Umber. Because we haven't seen we haven't seen her yet. Want to play good cop, bad cop? No. Do we have to? Okay. You be good cop, and I'll be bad cop. Oh, that's not gonna happen, going to happen, is it? Rough her up. No. Just, if you think she's not telling us everything, leave it to me, and I'll get the goods. I'm not right. going to lie. I would. She's coming. This isn't gonna work. It should be the other way around, if anything. He you? looks like the bad Miss guy. Miss Amber, I was hoping you could help us with the missing pupil. Told the police everything yesterday. We just had a caller this evening claiming they kidnapped a boy. Any idea where he might be? Missing. Well, yeah. So that's it? Well, There's I nothing don't know how she expected to be us. fair. That's it. I don't know what else you expect, to be fair. Good cop. Miss Umber, is there something oh. you're not telling us? No. Very well then. We'll be on our way. Paul. Oh, wow, good nah. job. She said she's told us everything. There's nothing else to see here. Wow. Thank you for your time, Miss Amber. Wow. Nah. Good night, Miss Munro. Wow. Yes, you can do more of that in the car. Let's hurry along. Wow. I think she's the... No, I'm going to think everybody's the kidnapper. Well, we're at the guest house. <clears throat> wow. Come on, Munro. You know I'm a gentleman. Thank God for women, then. I'll talk to Miss Clay. Fine. I'll talk to Miss Gallagher. I guess we should go Good back luck, then. to... Or Let's do the Ms. other Clay woman. Less frosty. This time. Means we get to any news on Joe? Find no, both I'm of them. sorry. Or at least I actually had something to ask you. Oh, really? Well, I'm not sure how much use I'll be, but um, go on. Are you married, Miss Clay? No, no, I don't believe in it. Anyway, like I said, I never settle anywhere for too long. Where right. was your last school? That's a bit odd. This is my uh, first? first appointment in quite a while, actually. But right. before that. Well, this this is my first appointment. <laughs> Ever. I see. Hmm. Uh, does Miss Umber know that? Yes, yes. It's on my CV. And your CRB checked? 
Yes, it's called DBS now. I'm clean as a whistle. Okay. Sorry, I just wanted to check. Well, teachers don't usually get employed with criminal records. That's true. And you had no other jobs before this one? I've had plenty of unpaid fundraising jobs. Okay. Not usually something you put on your CV. Fundraising? Yes, hmm. uh, oceans, rainforests, some small charities you've probably never heard of. And they're Try all me. environmental charities. Yes, Mr. Pope. The Pope. Earth needs saving too. It's funny that you said Joe was a litter bug. Why? Because that's something that must upset you, considering your choice of charities. Do you think mm. I'm a kidnapper? Uh, no. No. You don't sound like Yvette. Just trying to make connections. Miss Clay doesn't seem to know about anything, mm. unless it's an eco issue. Maybe yeah. you're just not prodding her in the right places. You're welcome to talk to her, too. We don't have time, Poe. The good news is Miss Gallagher gave me a name. Right, okay. Wes Marie Bolton. Excellent. And the address Who's to that? go with? Hunger Lane. Off Beaconsfield Drive. I know it. Hmm. Okay. So this looks like it's near the police station as well. How are they just getting into people's houses with, with them already sat down? <clears throat> and they knock on the door and they're like, it's open. People don't normally want to hear what I have to say. We do. We want to hear about mm. Joe Watts. If I tell you what I think, I'll topple my meds. Right. Well, we don't want to get you in trouble. Just tell us what you can. Don't be silly, Paul. We're not going to tell anyone. You can tell us anything. For sure. It's okay. You can trust us. We're from the radio. Hmm. It's Miss Clay. Why do you think that? She ran this after school club, Green for Life. Right. I was in it. Okay. She made us make a list of those with the most environmental impact in our class. I did it. It was me. I made the list. Okay. Joe was third on it and the third person to go missing. Right. You have to help him, you need to. It's okay. We're gonna help. So you're 99% sure it's Miss Clay. But she doesn't seem to know anything. She doesn't sound like the person either. The at Hell Park? You have to hurry. Well, that's a lot Check of information. I feel like you you did this. This is a lot of information that you know. Why haven't you told the police this? What does she want with the money? If they pay, she donates the money to charity. It's gone too far. I think and what if they don't Miss Clay may have done it, but this girl here is the one that did the fret the French accent. I don't know. Because I What did you see, Westmarie? It seems a bit weird. Miss Clay. Right. She was turning him into trees. A dryad. A what, what now? A dryad. Someone who's part human, part tree. That, I don't... We need to go. ...think that's what a dryad is? How Park? Yeah. Where's Marie? Where's Marie? You did good. I feel like she's leading us We're into We're gonna a save trap. Joe. You wait here, and we'll be back. We're going to get trapped. She's gonna call Miss Clay after we leave, and she's gonna set us into a trap. <clears throat> oh, it's... Joe! The middle of the day. Joe! Well, that's not too bad then. Joe! I wouldn't go Joe! running around shouting though. Gives your position away pretty heavily. Joe! That's spray paint. We're too late, Alice. No. No. This is all our fault. How is this our fault? <laughs> well, that person that was Frankie did say that there was nothing that they could do. <clears throat> he was murdered. Yeah. We think Miss Clay had something to do with it. Vets. She's the one the police should be finding. Do you have her voice recorded? 
Yes, we record all incoming calls. Do the police have it? I already sent it over. I'm sure they're working on it. I think there was more than one person Guess involved. I better go and identify Joe's body. What, what, whatever's left of him. It was his full body. August wolves pretty much eat anything. One time, there was a whole school bus of children and... Poe, I think you can save that story for another time. Of course. Yeah, that's probably for sorry. the best. We're sorry for your loss. We will see ourselves out. Mm-hmm. I don't know. There's something weird going on. Frankie gave us a warning. Did he know? I'm having a hard time with this whole Frankie thing. Hmm. Where do you weird. think Miss Clay is? No one can find her. Far away from August, I should imagine. Yeah, probably. I feel responsible. Don't. It's not like you made all the decisions that led to Joe's death. If they ever invent a time machine, I'm coming back and I'm saving Joe. Good luck with that. Maybe he was always doomed. Maybe. That's gloomy. Fate and destiny, Munro. I mean, to be Can't fair, that's what Frankie changed. said. We never found out who a vet was either. Some things no. will always remain a mystery, Munro. Are they saying this live on air? She's a vet. Oh, maman, maman. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I thought so. I thought as much that they were connected somehow. Next time on Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. We have a special treat for you tonight. Madame Baratsky claims to have helped hundreds of clients discover their previous selves. Okay. Monroe, are you ready to meet your past self? I was born ready. They're going to meet their past selves. Okay. I'm Elizabeth. That's what you were going to ask, isn't it? Dark Nights. With Pearl and Monroe. Okay, well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Like I said, we'll be doing daily from now on, and we're going to try and do daily uploads for the entire year. So, hopefully, 2023 goes a lot better and hopefully I don't get ill or I have a backlog so that when I do get ill uh, I'll still be able to post but I hope you guys enjoyed please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye